In a highly unusual move, Labour-run Haringey Council has been told by the party's ruling executive to put a halt to a multi-million pound regeneration project in North London. The plan to renew thousands of council homes has proved hugely controversial, splitting opinions within the party and the local area itself. Well, Susanna Mendonca has been finding out why the housing project is so controversial. It's a housing estate at the heart of a political battle. This resident has lived on Northumberland Park in Tottenham for 29 years. The local council wants to knock this down and rebuild it. And it's promised that all social tenants like her would get to return to live here if they want to. Me, I've been here for a long time and I love the place. I wish to come back. But we asked, I asked about the rent and they said the rent is going to be the same. But all of this, I'm wondering how true is going to be. This is one of the areas in this North London borough that would be included in the so-called Haringey Development Vehicle, or HDV. That's a 50-50 partnership between the council and a private developer. Haringey Council says this plan is all about regenerating inadequate estates and building much-needed new homes, more than 6,000 of them, 40% of which they say would be affordable. But it's been met with huge opposition, not least because of the council's choice of business partner. Lendlease was the company behind the Haygate estate redevelopment in Southwark. Once home to more than a thousand socially rented properties, the development that replaced it now has less than a hundred of them, which is part of the opposition's case against Haringey Council's proposal. This is not a rejection of the ambition behind the HTV. It's the fact that it's poorly thought out, it's too risky, it's very, very likely to fail in at least some way, the most likely way of which is that the proportion of homes for genuine affordable social rent uh, will probably be small and will no doubt dwindle over time. The plans, which also include building on council-owned sites in Wood Green, have led to huge divisions within the Labour Party here. Councillors who support the HDV have been deselected and some opposed to it have now got the backing of Labour's ruling body. Well, we've now got the Labour Party's National Executive Committee effectively telling a Labour council what to do um, over a specific policy, which is in itself like quite extraordinary. Um, and I'm thinking, uh, you know, where does this kind of, where does this end? So where do, what, what happens the next time a campaign group who's now part of the Labour Party, um, you know, isn't happy with something that a Labour council leader is doing? With protests and pressure continuing to mount, the future of this development remains unclear. Susanna Mendonca, BBC London News, Haringey. Well, our political editor Tim Donovan is following what's going on in Haringey. And OK, this is going on in Haringey, but a lot of people everywhere looking at what's going on, isn't it? Yeah, because of what it symbolises, because the row, the arguments over these uh, localised regeneration plans are being seen as revealing, laying bare kind of political splits uh, within the Labour Party. And not just at a local level there at Haringey, but of course perhaps symbolising wider uh, uh, splits across the country. And a key word we need here is momentum. You know, this is the, the grassroots community activist organisation which has grown up in parallel with Labour, supports Jeremy Corbyn and most of what uh, he believes. They're really active uh, in Haringey. They do not like these um, regeneration plans at all. There's not a direct crossover. There are lots of people who aren't momentum who don't like these plans either. But the significant political thing is that they are held to have caused up to 20 existing Labour councillors either to be deselected or to stand down voluntarily. They can't bear, they don't want to stand again in May's elections. So with so many eyes on what's going on in Haringey, where do we think this is all going? Well, the leader, Claire Cober, is, is almost certain to be to have to have a, 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 you know, an emergency meeting with uh, the NEC of the Labour Party. They've sent in a senior MP to try and mediate, see if you can bring these two factions uh, together. They're waiting for uh, the outcome of a judicial review, which means that Claire Cober, the leader, can't quite press the button on, this, um, on these plans at the moment. But it's quite possible that after May's elections, there will be a momentum uh, a heavy uh, left administration in Haringey and with a majority, and it's quite likely in those circumstances they'll just pull the plug on this. Yeah, this is one of those stories where even if you're not into politics, it's an interesting one. Tim, thanks very much uh, for that.